This is a really important event for golf politics. I think what it's done really well is demonstrate that there's a lot of on the ground movements that are calling for reform, calling for political reform, calling for human rights reform, and reflecting on things in a really interesting, critical manner. But one, a way that, that really acknowledges the importance of peaceful reform, of reform that's done in a gradual process, that respects the culture and tradition of, of states on the ground. And I think that's the really important thing here, that it's been a, a really fascinating set of discussions based on on the ground uh, opinions and views, interacting with, with political structures. And I think that's what's been really useful, really important, a chance to reflect on some of these processes and to reflect on the ways in which reform can take place in a respectful and peaceful manner. Uh, what about regarding the legitimacy of uh, Gulf regimes? So legitimacy is deeply contested. It's contingent on a range of different factors determined by time and space. And so one state's legitimacy is, is dramatically different from another's legitimacy. But I think there are certain things that all states can do to ensure their legitimacy, such as adhering to, to human rights uh, treaties, human rights organizations, making sure that, that the rule of law is is deployed as, as much as possible. And I think that if those things are done, then, then a claim to legitimacy can, can increase, regardless of the, the local manifestations of those, those claims to legitimacy. Thank you so much.